So I'm wondering whether I could get away with no bra. I, I, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh. Hello! I thought we'd take a little look at some of the stuff that Hush have got going on for spring. Although, people work really far ahead, don't they? So I don't know whether this is actually summer, but it's definitely not high summer. This, start with this. I have bought this dress in so many different patterns. I find it really easy to wear. It's really sort of loose. It's good for eating in because it expands. Looks good with trainers, looks good with sandals. And I like the fact it's got long sleeves. It's just very easy to wear. The only thing about flippy dresses like this is if the wind blows and you're walking through town and you do tend to sort of, you know, flash your pants. But apart from that, it's faultless and they do it in a different print or colour every year and I think this is really, really pretty, don't you? Looks good with little white trainers, that's how I always wear it. However, cowboy boots are in this season, aren't they? I've got the most ridiculous pair of cowboy boots, hold on. Look at these. I absolutely love these boots, but every time I wear them, I sort of feel like I'm in fancy dress. I'm not sure they'd go with this dress so much. It's a little bit pretty and floral, isn't it? I know what they will go with though. Just hold, chino shorts. The quest for suitable summer shorts continues. It's been about a three year quest so far. These are the chino ones. I like these. They're a little bit more fitted than my green ones. Um, so they, they feel a bit smarter. I'm not sure about navy and black together. What do you think? Let's try on these cowboy boots. Love a pair of shorts and cowboy boots. I'm not sure about shorts, cowboy boots, and a jumper. I think it requires um, a shirt. I can't see what I look like, I've got no mirror. I think that these shorts are quite smart. Um, so I'm just gonna see what they're like smartened up a bit really. Please don't zoom in on my toes. I quite like them a bit smarter with a, with a bit more of a heel. This little blouse, so many of you asked me where this was from last time I wore it and it is hush. But it was a couple of, uh, it was a month or so ago. Um, so hopefully they still have it. But I quite like shorts with a bit of a smart, a smart top there. Why the bloody hell have I got this chair in the back? I love this blouse. I love its little sort of puffy shoulders. And is this called seersucker? Look at these. Now, I am somebody who has quite openly mocked Birkenstock wearers for the last 20 plus years. I have never seen the appeal in them. I've always thought they looked sort of hideous. Um, even though most of my friends have worn Birkenstocks and we've had a long, long standing standoff about whether they're nice or not. I, these are Hush's sandals. They're furry on the inside. I have never put on anything that you can practically walk around in all day that is this snugly. I won't say comfortable because trainers, they're the ultimate comfort, aren't they? You can actually run in those. I'm not sure you could really run very far in these. But they're so cosy. It's just like, it just, it just makes you feel good about the world and life. There's just something about sliding them on. It's like wearing slippers, but outside, but they're quite sort of firm and hardy. Oh my God. They're just, I know that my feet suddenly look massive and they're just the actual dream. I'm not sure I'd do shorts and shorts and these sandals maybe, but oh, 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 they're just so snuggly. I feel like if it was, you felt like it was going to be summery outside and then you got outside and it was a bit chilly, you would be so glad that you had these on. Quite a lot of boobage out in this dress. This is my Reformation dress from last year. However, I feel like it's completely balanced out by the fact I have furry slippers on outside. I'm not outside, but let's imagine I'm outside. Get with the programme, okay? Look, just walk into the shops. I just feel like it, it just sort of, it balances something out in the world. 
can't believe I'm saying this because I have always been so anti these sandals, this style of Birkenstocky style of sandal. Mm. Oh, look, I thought this dress was really interesting. So, print wise, just, sorry, just do it up. Um, it looks like a sort of typical summer dress, but look, it's quite sort of rock and rolly. Cool, look at that. It's a bit. Is it a bit bodycon? Can we call it that? I don't know. I think I think we can. Um, it's quite snug. I've got the wrong pants on underneath. Doesn't leave much to the imagination. But um, if you're into that kind of shape, you know, you could. It's really a dress that you could wear in the daytime with trainers or ridiculous cowboy boots. And then you could swap it to heels or higher boots for the evening or just stay in your flats like I would. Um, stick a jump on over the top. It's not going to be the easiest shape to wear, but I feel like it's something quite fresh and, and fun and, you know, kind of quite fitted. It, it feels very slightly rock and roll. I always cringe inwardly when I use that phrase rock and roll. I feel like I've used it quite a lot recently, very inappropriately. And it feels like quite a, a like a mum thing to do. Do you know what I mean? It's like one of those things that your parents would have done that just made you cringe, and now you do it. Oh, it's trendy. Oh, it's nifty. Oh, it's ever so rock and roll. That's what I feel like. Oh God, I thought my green shorts should make an appearance. Way these, everyone. And if you're not familiar with my uh, with my famous green shorts. These are the ones that I'm trying to find a replacement for. I've had them for many years. They're really sort of worn out and um, kind of faded and actually don't feel so big anymore. They used to feel really big on me for a while. Now they don't. That's a problem fixed, isn't it? I've basically grown myself back into them. Uh, on the top, I have the cotton slub t-shirt, which I've wanted to try for ages just to see the fit. I'm quite particular about t-shirts. This is a nice fit, I think. Um, give it a little tuck, maybe. Fits well across the chest area. Nice fabric. Comes in uh, loads of different colours, I think. A few different colours. So it's the cotton slub. And then last but not least, well, probably is least because it's the smallest thing and it's the least expensive. I'm still on the hunt for really good vest tops that I can wear a bra underneath. I don't think this quite um, fits the bill. However, it fits quite sort of tight and, and supportive. So I'm wondering whether I could get away with no bra. But I, <laughs> Hello. Oh. Um, oh, just isn't it so nice when you have that t-shirt bra shape? Do you know what I mean? And it all feels all sort of lifted and pert. Why is it that it's the simplest things that I find the hardest to find and buy? You know, a simple vest top, basic shorts, jeans. A white shirt. Why Why do I find it's like the classic things, the wardrobe staples that I find I'm so much more picky on than everything else. It's very strange. May the hunt continue because I'm sure it rivets you all to the spot, doesn't it? Um, I'll list everything below and thanks for watching and see you in the next try on.